Hello guys, welcome back. Now in the previous video, we looked at how to create the login screen and how to log in users to parse. Now in this one, we're going to see how to send a user to the homepage as soon as they're logged in. So I'm going to drag in a view controller as well. And I'm going to give it to make it smaller, about four inches. And then I will create a controller to control this, a view controller. So. I will create a home page view controller, which is a UI view controller. And I will save it in there. And now uh, we have it up here. I'll just drag it down here. So we have the home view controller. We could uh, make it point to this to control this view, which is good. So this view is controlled by, it's good to check. I'll get rid of these comments here. All right, so what I want to do is, as soon as the user logs in, they're taken uh, to the home page. So how do I go about doing that? Well, there's something called, uh, there's a segue. The, the previous segue that I showed you was where you drag an item, you command, and then you just drag it here, and then you just release, and then you choose show. So. In this kind, this type of segue, the first place we're going to uh, need to click is the login view controller right here. I mean the the controller object, if you want, the view. Uh, I don't know how to name it, but you get it just right here, or right here, you know. So you click that, and then you just drag it to where you want it to go. So I'll click here, and I'll just name it show as well. And this is the segue. So if I click this segue and click on the um, attribute inspector right here, I can give it as identifier. I need to give that segue an identifier. What would this help is basically, I want to say when I log in successfully, perform a segue with this ID, which the segue was to take the user home, right? From here to home, from this view right here to home. Yep. So I'm gonna say, uh, log in, I don't know, I'm say, go home, from login just kind of an ID like that and click that copy that and then now we come to the login page All right so the user has successfully logged in took the user home so we want to do something called to perform a segue so to do this we just say perform I don't know why my go to complete is not doing its stuff. Perform, yeah, perform segue with identifier. And the identifier is go home from login. And the sender is self. So this will take the user home. So if I run this, I get a build fail because I need to call self. So what self means, it's kind of like, uh, like this in java we're talking about this class okay so self perform from self okay pretty much so you get it and if you ever get this error you can just uh click the er the error and it adds it by itself so let's run that now so we could log in tony which we have an account from previous tutorial and then log in and as you can see we're back home to this blank page that is cool uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, you know like um, start putting items on the home page and working with the home page so we're gonna co be covering about table views right now so the first thing we want to do is create a table view. And a table view is just definitely something like this. You've, you've worked with table views. I just went to Google and just, so this is, a, for example, a table view. And how a table view works is this whole thing is an object. Each row is an object, an object. As you scroll, each row is an object, an object of items. All right. So for example, there's an image, there's a crow. So it can be like this. There's a, there's a, username and there's an image you know so this whole thing is an object that is an object in parts we've talked about this so you get the point so we're going to just be populating grabbing each object 
and grabbing his property and putting him in the right position, which we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and uh, start working with the home page. The first thing we're going to need is a table view itself. So we're just going to type table view. Uh, you could use a table view controller instead of a UI view controller if you like. I prefer a table view, uh, UI view controller. I don't know why, but. And then now, this is a table view that we're going to drag. As you can see, it's just going to be like uh, a list. So I'm going to position it at the center right there. And then now, uh, this table, as you can see, is just blank. It's just a table view representation. I'm going to need a table view cell as well. A cell. So this represents a single row. Yep. I'm showing you a single row. So how we're going to want it to look like. So that represents that. So I'm going to expand it to my preferred height. I don't know. I like, uh, you know, something like, oh, I mean, we were making Instagram. So uh, the image is about, you know, maybe 250 and then uh, 270 sounds good. Big image and the text. That looks pretty good. That's like one item, one image, for example, and the text at the bottom. So this is where it's going to be. So now after doing this, we're going to, we have a cell. So this cell needs to be controlled as well. It needs, uh, like, just like the table view, just like the, uh, the, all these views, they need to, they need some controller. So we are going to need to create a file to control the cell by itself. The table view, well, the table view, we're going to do something with it that will make it be controlled by the, uh, home, home page controller. So I'll show you in a, in a second, but for now, let's go ahead and create a file to control this single cell or a single row or a single object in that matter. If you already know what I'm talking about. So click next. And then this one, instead of a UI view controller, you click that. And then there's a UI table view cell. Okay. So this is a single cell. And what I want to call it is a single row cell, something like that. Swift click next and then save it in there. And then now we have a Swift file, a Swift single row uh, file there. This, as you can see, it's just been created it's a, a subclass of UI table view cell. So now let's go ahead and connect this. So right now, I mean, it doesn't connect. So we need to connect it, make a connection and we do the same. We come here to uh, uh, identity inspector at uh, UI table view cell, the class here that will control it. We just click it and you see single row cell is available. We click that and now this are connected. Now, we have a cell, a cell, so let's start putting stuff on that cell that we'll, we want to display. We want an image view, right? What do we want? Yes, an image view. Then put it, we don't want a label, right? We want an image view here at the top. Or how do you want it? You know, you can just uh, customize it however you want. Small, uh, large, fill up the hole. Something like that, fill up the whole top. I think that's the top. Then maybe about 230, and then we could just leave a little space here. And that space, I'm going to put a label to, you know, caption or what do you call that? Some text about the image or the status or what's up. So there we have that. We have an image view and a label in each single cell. So what we are going to be doing, uh, let me repeat this again. We're going to be grabbing. Uh, as you can see, this is a this this I just currently uses. For example, I can say Tony. The username is going to be here, and if the, uh, there was an image, it's going to be here for that user. But for now, we're going to be creating uh, status or a post objects in Parse, and we're going to be populating them here. So we haven't done that yet, and we're going to be doing that in probably the next video or this one. So let's keep going. Now, the first thing that you want to do is click this. Okay, the item that you put in the row in the cell and then drag it here so that we can give it an identity so that we can start populating it. So I'll give this uh, uh, Swiftagram something, you know, Swiftagram image view or image, image view. Yeah. Something like that. And this is, uh, oops, right there. This is Swiftagram label or image label, whatever. 
so long as it's uh, unique. And now, uh, believe me, we are done there. So we can just close this file. Now, in the next video, I want to show you now how to start getting data from, uh, I mean, how to start, let's first of all, before we actually start populating, let's uh, first add items in parse. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in the next video. So up to now, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.